What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs? Sandiac17 here. Once again, I am back with another Doki Doki Literature Club fan mod. The one I'm about to do this time is called Spirits. Now, I'm not entirely too sure what this mod's all about. I saw it on Reddit, and it got me curious. But there was no info on it before I downloaded it. When I saw screenshots and everything, it was like there was a, some dark areas. When I saw the thumbnail, I was I saw the the, the logo next with Sayuri next to it. And she like looked like she was scared. But what could she be scared of? I'll have to know for sure. I'll have to play this to find out. Because without further ado, it's time to dive in, and let's do it to it. Wait, why does it say mod template, though? That doesn't make sense. I mean, is it, like I, I mean, this is a mod after all, but I'll shut up about that. DLC Spirits is a Doki Doki Lucha Club fan mod that's not affiliated with Team Sabato. It is designed to be played only after the official game is completed, and it contains spoilers for the official game. Game files for Doki Doki Literature Club require to play this mod, it can be downloaded for free at ddlc.mo. By playing DDLC Spirits, you agree that you have completed Doki Doki Literature Club and accept any spoilers contained within. I agree, obviously, so let's go. But you gotta admit, this is catchy, though. <laughs> Whoa, hello! Classroom? Closet? They're all dark. Even the Lodger Club. What is going on? Is there something bad about to happen as soon as I start this? Well, let's go. Time to put the name in. And of course, I can't put my full name, so Sonyx is gonna be the name. Let's go! Wait, MC is a police officer? Huh. That's a new one. We'll see where this goes. Being a police officer within this quiet town was worth the years of diplomas and degrees needed to be one. Nothing major happens in this town other than the occasional driver of speeding. Or just dealing with missing items from a shop. Life is good right now. <laughs> just starting my patrol of the town and everything seems to be peaceful. But now anyway. Might be a quiet night for me. I wouldn't be too sure, man. So with three years of the police force, I had nothing I had nothing major to deal with. I am sure the time will come eventually when I am when I need to deal with a life threatening incident. And the day, that is what I'm trained to do. So the three years has also given me the rank of corporal within the forces. So the MC is a corporal, huh? Interesting. Current title is corporate side the acts of the police force. <laughs> <sighs> but wait, what about the other dokies? What what about the other, what about the four girls? Natsuki, Sayuri, Monica, Yuri? What about those four? One more rank and I'll become a sergeant. Meaning I can apply to complete a weapons course and be qualified for being a firearms officer. <laughs> but only time will tell. Corporal Sadiex, report in. This is this is Corporal Sadiex reporting in. Ah, Sadiex, good to hear you. We have a report of four female teenagers not responding to their messages and being absent from their school for no, with no reason. That's gotta be the Dokies! What's going on around here? Sounds like a simple sounds, sounds like a simple shakedown. I will forward you all the I will forward you all the report of all the individuals and, for, and report back when you make progress. Looks like you have a simple task ahead of you. Go go to all the addresses you are sent and ensure their safety. They questioned them on why they did not attend school. They are known to be good students, so the school is worried. Understood? Yes, Captain. I will report back with my progress shortly. 
good to hear. The radio has gone silent. Well, I guess my quiet Monday night shift is out the window now. <laughs> you think? Okay, let's take a look at these reports. It is them! Four teenage girls named Monica, Sayuri, Natsuki, and Yuri. Monica. 17 years old, 5 foot 6, five foot six inches tall, athletic, brown haired, and a team leader. Leader of the literature club. Address is 45 Glearway, Glearway Road. Sayuri, MC's best friend. 17 years old, 5 foot 6 inches tall, cheerful and short brown haired individual. Attends the literature club. Address, 6 Hellvair ha Walk. I think there is a pattern here. What do you mean? Natsuki. 17 years old, 5 foot 3 inches tall, cook and pink haired individual. Attends the literature club. Address, 23 Flakeway Drive. Literature club? Didn't see that one coming. Okay, what is going on here? Yuri. 17 years old, 5 foot 7 inches tall, quiet, smart, and purple haired individual. Attends the literature club. Address is 57 Beachley, Benchley Road. Sorry. Hmm? Okay, got Okay, got all the information I need. I will head to Monica's house, then Sayuri's, Natsuki's, and finally Yuri's last. Hopefully Monica is in so I can simply get her to face the FaceTime the rest. Get her to FaceTime the rest. Saves my ass some saves my ass some time. I'm sure they'll have some sort of reasoning, and hopefully I would not need to complete a massive report when I need to get back to the station. I start to head towards Margo's house. Huh? Huh, so, so this is Margo's place, huh? Alright, this is the place. The place looks dark. Well, well it is 11, 11 p.m. now, so she might be just... She might just be asleep. I knock on the door. Hello? Hello? It's the police. Hello? It's the police. Please, can you open up? Not a sound. Uh-oh. Not good. I knock again, put more power into this one. Knock, knock, knock. This is the police. Please open. Please open up if you're inside. Still not a sound. At this point, it is safe to say no one is going to answer the door. The bear report back and request permission to enter the building. Captain, this is Captain. This is Corporal Sonny X. I have arrived at the subject's house, but no one's answered. Permission to enter the building? You are authorized to enter the residence of the suspects. I advise you look for another way in before lock lock picking inside. Affirmative, affirmative, Captain. Radio goes silent. I walk around the building looking for some sort of window, open window, and, and checking all the doors to see if they are unlocked. Nothing. I head to the front door and get ready for the pick lock, to pick lock the door. Where is pick locking? I must say, this is a handy tool to have. Better than breaking down the door le leading to more paperwork. Click. The door is unlocked. Police are coming in. Do not be alarmed. Oh man. I start to look around the building for any sign of people within it. No luck this place. No luck. This place is silent. The house is cold and the atmosphere is... different. I don't know what it is, but something feels off. You think? I head towards the door with the title, with the title, Monica, on it. Better introduce myself just in case she is afraid. End the day, I am, I am just a strange, I'm just a stranger who just entered her house. Monica, this is the police. I am coming in. Please do not be alarmed. I gently open the door. Huh? Upon entering the room, it is clear no one is here. Oh boy. 
I checked the wardrobe in front of me, just in case she is hiding. I opened the wardrobe. Nothing! Not a single hint about her whereabouts. I better make my way to the other girls' homes and report this in. I take another look around before leaving. I relock the front door and turn my radio on. Captain! Monica is not, is not within her home and there was no sign of her whereabouts. I will head towards the other suspects' homes to see what I can find. 10-4, Corporal, report back what you have anything to report. Yes, Captain. Radio goes silent. Okay. So we, so we can take off Monica for now. Next one is... Sayori. I start to head towards Sayori's house. Wait, that's Sayori's house in this mod? Huh. Interesting. Well, this is Sayori's house. There are no lights on from the front of the house. I'm going to presume that no one is inside, but I need to, I need to see just to be on the safe side. Good idea. On the other hand, is it, it is late. She, she might just be asleep. Wait, I'm sure I said that for the last house and look what happened. Anyway, let's get moving. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, this is the police. Can you please open the door? Not a sound. Knock, knock, knock. Sayori, this is the police. I need to speak with you. I need to speak to you. Still not a sound. Well, Bill, get ready to pick lock the door again. But before that, give her the house a look real hurt. I make my way to the back of the house and see a window open slightly. Maybe my day is looking up a bit. I grab the window and slowly open the window. Luckily, I am able to fit through the window. Okay, I am entering the building. Please do not be alarmed. I can barely see where I'm, where I'm going in this building. I grab the light in my pocket and turn it on. No, no one is on the first floor from where I can see. Better head upstairs. Oh boy. <sighs> Given the history and being Sayori, I hope I don't see her. You know. I head upstairs. With every step forward I make, I am greeted with either a crack or a squeak from the floor borders. The echo in this house is also unusual. Must be an old house. I open three doors before finally reaching the last one which has to be her room. I would hope so at least. Sayori, this is the police! I am coming in! Just from opening the door slightly. I get a massive whiff of a horrible smell. Oh no! Please don't be that! I continue to open the door gently. Gently. I look inside the room. Don't be that way! Oh god! Huh? Oh. Oh. <sighs> This place is a dump! Well, get some sort of information or clue where she... Well, get some sort of, of information or clue to where she is will be harder. Better look around the room for any sort of information about her, about her whereabouts. I head straight to the desk first. She owns a laptop, but it looks dusty. This hasn't been used in a while. I couldn't find anything on her desk. But I'll check the rest of the room. This is going to be a long one. After 10 minutes of searching the room, still nothing was found. Well, that's the room searched and checked. Still nothing to report back. The captain is not going to be happy if I report back for nothing. The other houses better have some lead to their whereabouts, or this is going to be a long report. I make my way outside and sure and I secure the house before leaving. <sighs> okay, so who is next? 
Natsuki! Half a mile away. Well, at least it's not that far away. I turn around and head straight towards Natsuki's house. So this is Natsuki's house in this mod, huh? Alright. I'm getting nervous and nervous each passing second. Finally, I have arrived at Natsuki's house. Let's just hope that at least she is in her house at, at this time. Third time is the charm. Normally the third time would be the charm, but I don't know if that's going to be in this case. Right? I approach Natsuki's door and give the same speech that I gave the other girls. Yeah, I still hear nothing. Oh man, not Natsuki too! At this point, my patience is getting thin. But at the end of the day, they are just teenagers. Need to find out where they are, where they are if, she isn't, if she is not here. Hopefully her room is clean compared to the last one. Or I, or I will be out here until dawn. I look around the building and find no open window or unlocked door, so I start to pick the lock into the building. I must say I've become a master of these uh, lock picks. Don't really take time to don't take me that long to do. Click. I am in. Hello. What we got here? I had, I have entered the house and find myself in her living room. I decide to head straight to her room to either find her or anything that can lead me to them. I enter Natsuki's room and to my surprise, she is not there. The room is incredibly dull. It is just a made bed, clear desk, and a chair. Still no clear indication of where these girls are. At this point, there could be a serious issue I have no lead and three girls are missing. Hopefully the last girl is either there or has left information about their whereabouts. I head back downstairs. <sighs> Just... Huh? Just as I was about to leave the building, I saw a notebook and pen on the sofa. What's this? The book reads diary. I am aware I will be breaking someone's privacy, but this might hold some sort of information. I open the book and look around for a bit. Nothing but manga references and drawings so far. I finally reach the last page, which is just a picture of an anime character. I really want to snap this book in half. This case is not moving forward as fast as I was hoping. Don't mess with Natsuki's manga, please. She won't like that. But well, I still have one last lead to go to before changing the entire plan. Yuri is the name. I make my way outside of Natsuki's home and immediately head towards Yuri's house. <sighs> Once again, I am starting to hope at least one of these girls are home and safe. But I must admit, something is just not adding up. What was your first clue? Maybe they are just having a sleepover? Well, that would... Well... That will, that will answer one of my questions, but the reason why they didn't go to school is... Confusing. Maybe the pressure of testing adulthood is getting to them. We all go through that phase, but we, we will have to see what happens. I finally arrive at Yuri's house. I must admit, this is a nice looking house. Ah, what am I saying? I have a job to do. You think? I start head to I head towards the front front door and start to knock. Knock knock knock. This is the police. Please open up. Not a sound. Oh man, Yuri too. This better not happen again. Knock knock knock. Still not a sound. Instead of checking the building, I go straight into picking up the, the front door. Click. Once again, I am in. First floor is clean and holds only the usual things you would have on your first floor. TV, sofa, kitchen, and much more. I make my way to the second floor and I see a door that has image, images all over it. 
This is clearly Yuri's room. As the report states that she is a shy individual, I decide not to storm in but instead be more calm with my words. Yuri, this is the police. I just need to make sure you're okay. Is that alright? Not a sound. Yuri, I am coming in. I start to open the door. Wait, does this background look a little familiar? I think there was a I think that was in a mod I did a couple months I think it was a mod that I did back in October. DDLC Yellow. Which was made by Slightly Simple. <sighs> anyway. She is not here. I can see that this is I can see that this room is is used a lot and and walked straight over to the desk. What is this? I start to look at what appears to be some sort of journal. I start to read over it. Jackpot! The journal that Yuri written tells me where they are off to and why they are there. They are having they are heading towards the old school on the edge of town to find out if ghosts exist. What? Is this a Scooby Doo moment? Many teenagers and adults do enter the abandoned school as there are rumors of spirits and paranormal activity. They they heard a story and they and they could and their curiosity got the better of them. It appears they are excited to go ex to go and explore. They must be in some sort of trouble. Well at least I know where to go now. Finally, progress! I immediately head out of Yuri's house. Captain, do you copy? I am here. Any news? Yes, sir. It looks like they are headed towards the abandoned school due to the curiosity of ghosts. I am making my way there now. We are low on numbers, so I will not be able to send you another officer to support you. I am sure you can find all four girls and return them home safe and sound, right? Yes, Captain. I will report back when I have them. Understood, Corporal. Good job so far. Keep it up. Radio goes quiet. Well, I am off to the abandoned school. I start to make my way to the school in question. So this is the, so this is the school. Huh. I finally arrive at the front of the school. Surprisingly enough, this place looks well kept and the electricity still works. Plants still blooming. All windows are surprisingly not damaged. Hmm. Very strange. As I look around, I can see the main doors to my left. I walk over to the door. Crick. Hello? I pause for a moment. I swear I heard something. I am on the right track. I can feel it. I continue to walk over to the main doors. Upon arriving, I attempt to open the door. The door doesn't budge. Hmm. Let's have a think. It would be better to search for another way in. Clearly the door isn't, is, not, is not budging anytime soon. I make my way to the front entrance to the school again. Before reaching the gates, I can see ladders. I cannot see where it leads to so far. Better to walk around the corner. Upon getting the ladders, it is clear that this will be this will take me to the roof. There might be an entrance I could try and get in front of the, get in from the roof. That would most certainly help me. I grab the bars and give them a strong shake. They do not budge. At least I know that if I fall off, it was due to my grip. Or if I somehow broke the ladder while I was climbing it. Not a great way to go out, I would say, you'd think. But anyway, I start to climb the ladder. Every step just feels just feels to get lighter and lighter. This is either my fear of heights kicking in or the ladder is getting weaker the higher I go. After reaching over half half the way up the building, I can tell I'm pretty high up. Am I really scared of heights? Only one way to find out. Don't look down. Let's let's continue climbing. 
No, it's best if I keep going up. I haven't got the time to play little games with myself. And also because I'm afraid of heights. I do not think it will help this situation at all. I finally make my I finally make it to the top of the building and, and, and to my right I can see a door. I approach the door and attempt to open it. The door is locked, but I can easily pick it open. I immediately start to lock pick the door. As I do, I get a cold chill down my spine. Uh oh. This well is not go is this well is not doing me any favors today. Click. The door has been unlocked. I make my way inside the building. Huh. This is interesting. I make my way inside the school and close the door. The only way I can go from here is down the stairs. I think the best cause of action would be would to be unlock the main door whilst my presence is unnoticed. Better than going back down. Better than going back down them bloody ladders. Before I head down the stairs, I stop to see if I can hear anything. Not a sound. I better keep a low profile as well. The girls might might be kept hostage for all I know. Oof. I didn't think about I didn't think of that. Ugh. I slowly and quietly head down the ladders towards the bottom floor. Only two floors to go down. This background is also familiar. I'm still doing Fallen Angel, in case you're wondering. That's what that reminds me of at this time. I make my way towards the front door and to my surprise, the door has a small metal bar going across it. So I guess the first choice I made was the right one. So you're the reason I couldn't get in before. I remove the metal bar going across the door and place it to the side. Once the door is unlocked, it gets and, and I I get some darts. I get some darts. Something's not right about this. This place is cold. Atmosphere is dark, depressing, and creepy. Better keep my guard up. Find the find these girls and get out before things get crazy. You think? I start to make my I start to make my way towards the classrooms. Oh boy. I start to look into the rooms, but majority of them are just rooms full of desks. What's this? While well, I making my way to the next room, I find a notebook on the floor. This is unusual because I would have thought somewhere where I picked this up, picked up on this. I grab the book and open it. His handwriting is very familiar. That's right. It is your it is Yuri's. I start to read over the contents in the book. First page starts to talk about how she is uncomfortable about being here. Turns out they found an open window and closed it upon entering the building. The next couple of paragraphs are just them walking around. But then she mentions seeing someone or something. Uh oh. Medium high, dark figure. Then there is just a scribble going across the book. I close the book. I'm going to perfume. I am going to presume that this dark figure spotted them. Hopefully they ran away somewhere. Let's hope they are still within the classrooms. Well, at least I am on the right line. Right lines. I start to head towards the next classroom before getting a chill down my spine again. I turn around. Uh, nothing is there. Come on. Come on. You need to stay focused. I ignore what I just felt and started to head to, to the next classroom. I look into the classroom before opening up. All looks good for now. I open the door. Upon entering the room, I close the door. Hey, this is the literature club. This is, this is, this is like the background for the literature club. The classroom looks empty, but I can see a closet at the end of the room. Please be, please, please be a small closet so I do not have to start rummaging through everything and, and search for them. I muttered to myself. I slowly make my way towards the cabinet and prepare myself for anything deciding to appear. The closet is open, so you never know. Might have some, might have someone stroll out of there. Might, might have someone stroll out of there. 
I continue to make my way towards the closet before getting half before halfway. I hear a sound coming from the corridor I was just at. I immediately crouched down to see who it was keeping myself from being spotted. A dark figure just walks by with some form of dark cloud following it. I slowly and quietly make my way towards the corridor to remain hidden. The dark figure looks at the room's door and approaches it. Time to get moving. I muttered to myself. This is this is. I'm really I'm really starting to get scared right now. As I approach the closet, I can hear the door starting to make noise. Oh yeah, someone or something is trying to get in the room. I merely get within the closet and close it slowly. It is pitch black in this closet. I do not use my torch at all just in case it gives away to my position to the dark figure. I start to peek through the keyhole within the doorknob of the closet of the closet door. I can still see the dark figure just searching the area. This thing is not normal and it's not a real person. It looks like someone it look it looks like someone, but I can't determine who or what they are. This thing just resembles death in my opinion. My mind start I might start pouring it with all doubts, problems and all the wrong things I have done in my life, drain me mentally. The figure eventually leaves the room and immediately walks down the corridor. I start to regain control of my thoughts and, and god dang that hurt. I give it a good 30 seconds before making my next move. I start to slowly open the closet door. From the looks of- BANG! What the hell was that? Huh? I placed my hand on the head while I presume something fell on it. I turn around, and something pounces on me. I think it found me. My vision is destroyed due to the hit I just received. It attempts to, it attempts to pin me down, but is weaker than me. Maybe this dark figure can can be dealt with easier than I thought. Wait, is it one of the girls? Natsuki! Go away, David! The schoolgirl thinks I presume to be the dark figure. She rises up a trophy and attempts to hit me with it. I immediately grab her wrist and pin her to the ground. I do not know who this is, but she is pretty powerful with that trophy in her hands. Hey, calm down! Keep your voice down! Wait! She looks directly at me, worried, confused, and, be and being she begins to cry. What is your name? You want to know? Well, I think it's better for me to introduce myself to better the situation. I am Corporal Sandy X. I am a police officer. I loosen my grip on her wrists. She looks at me surprised, cries, and hugs me. Thank you for saving me! Man, I hate seeing Natsuki crying like that. I move both of us up from the ground. Who are you? She looks up at me. My name is Natsuki! Bingo! I found one of them, finally! Nice to meet you, Natsuki. Your school was worried about you. Lean to, lean to me coming here to find you and the others. Speaking of the, speaking of the others, where are they? Nat, Natsuki slowly start, stops crying on, on my shoulder and answers. I don't know! That demon thing looked at us and we just ran away! I appeared here trying to not to be found! I reassure Natsuki. You did the right thing, Natsuki. She is starting to look a lot better now. Also, did you hit me with that trophy? Yeah, I am sorry about that. Don't worry about it. You had a good shot on me, though. I will admit. <laughs> and there's Natsuki smiling. I can start to see a smile appear on her face. She is starting to act a lot more com comfortable now that I'm here. Natsuki! Yes? I need your help to find- I need you- I need you to help me find the others. And I will not be leaving you at all until I find them. Can you help me find them? Yes, but... I am scared! Don't- do not worry. I will keep you safe from that from that thing, okay? Okay. 
Just listen to what I have to say, and you will make it out, out, out of this. I promise you. I can tell Natsuki does not trust me fully yet, which is reasonable. And today, we at the end of the day, we only have we only have known each other for a couple of minutes now. Natsuki, have you heard any noises or indications on where the of, of the, on the whereabouts of the others? Natsuki starts to think. I did hear a scream before you found me coming from the rooms on the right. We should go look there first. Good idea. That thing with that thing with that way as well. So as long as we keep our, our distance from it, stick. So so as long as we keep our distance from it, stay quiet and keep on moving, we will make it. Got it. Yeah, I understand. Then let's then let's waste no time. Wait before we go. Nancy looks up at me with a look concerned and worried. But that is justified in my opinion. If we get separated or you get spotted, head straight to the closet where we were just in. And wait there until I collect you, okay? Okay. We immediately head towards the door. I look both ways before getting myself and Natsuki outside the room. My heart is racing. Fear is starting to develop. I can feel it, but I must contain it and keep a clear mind in order to get the job done. Okay, keep quiet and stay behind me. If you see anything, let me know straight away. Natsuki nods at me. I don't know what that thing is, so watch your corners. We quietly make our way, our, we quietly make our way past the classrooms looking through the window to see any sign of them. To no luck. See anything? No, nothing yet. This is not looking good, but we will get through this. We continue to make our our, our way through the school. Still nothing. I want to use my flashlight to see clearer. But if I do, it will just blow our blow our position away. That sense of fear is starting to get worse. What if it's too late? What if we get caught and Natsuki sells because of me? No, she's a smart she has a smart girl. But girls won't be able to Crack. Natsuki grabs my arm clearly spooked by the sound. Me and Natsuki look at each other. Looks like we might we looks like we might have found one of your friends. Or that ghost. That sound echoed through the building. We better get moving before that thing gets there before us. That's to say that the ghost spirit thing doesn't didn't make the noise in the first place. We immediately pick up the pace to where was where the sound came from. Turns out it's another classroom. I look inside the room, a glass face is broken on the floor, but I cannot see anyone. The room looks clear. We will make this quick. In and out. Got it? Yeah, let's go before that thing fight finds us. We make we make our way inside the classroom. We both enter the room and I shut the door. This place does not look very abandoned than I thought it would be. Desks and seats are all over the place. Stay close. No surprises. I slowly make my way around the room before I, I hear a flight whimpering coming from the main desk of the, in the room. Stay here. I hear something. Natsuki stays put, looking around the room startled. I make my way towards the front desk. Ensure that I stay quiet. Ensure that I stay quiet and get ready to attack if need, if need to, if I need to. I look under the desk. Papa Hell Girl, that's Yuri. Yuri, ah! I immediately cover her mouth before she attracts otherwise attention. Yuri, Natsuki. Natsuki charges over to Yuri, gives her a hug. Yuri immediately breaks into tears and hugs Natsuki. 
Are you okay, Natsuki? I'm so sorry for leaving you. I got too scared and ran. I wanted to go and find you, but that thing was out there. I knew you, I knew you would try to find me, Yuri. Natsuki hugs her tighter. You are safe now. This officer is here to get us out of this hellhole. Yuri starts to slowly collect herself. Yuri looks right at me. Best now to introduce myself to earn some trust in this situation. And the day, trust, trust could potentially save our lives. You think? Hello, Yuri. I am Corporal Sonny X from the police force. Thank you, Sonny X, for saving, saving us. But where, where is Monica and Sayori? We do not know yet. By any chance, do you know where they could, where they could be? I am sorry. I don't know where they have gone. They went the opposite way to where I went when we encountered that ghost. Dang it! Do not fear. We will find them, but I need you to be strong, okay? I need you to listen and follow my orders. I will get I will get all of you out here out of here safely. But for now we must go. We have wasted too much too much time here and most likely got the spirit's attention. We must move immediately. Yuri, stay with Natsuki. Yuri, stay with Natsuki at all times. Okay, I will. Okay, let's move now. I can feel a chill in the air. My feelings will have to wait. I am running out of time. The atmosphere has changed again. It has become colder. Much colder than before. I open the door and walk out. <sighs> Whoa! What the? What is that? Well, well, well. What the? I immediately get grabbed and pushed across the hallway, falling to the ground with some with something on me. What do we have here? It's the spirit. Crap! It's got me. It's that thing! It's that thing! Run! Natsuki grabs Yuri's hand and runs down the hallway screaming. I am struggling to get this thing off of me. It is rather powerful for its weak looking state. Don't you think you are going to get away that easily? I will leave them to run. Only makes the game more interesting when I get to hunt them down. Get off me! I struggle with all the strength I have. Why do you resist it so much? Hopefully the others are not as hard to deal with like you. I I don't know what I don't know I don't know what's happening and why I'm so weak. The creature's eyes start to beam at me. It is weakening me. I must resist. My head floods with doubt and dark thoughts. Must. Death is the only way out. Leave them. What hope do I have to escape? Resist! Worthless. What is your purpose in life? Put it on society? I give in to the pain. I lose all control of my arms and black out. Huh? I slowly start to regain myself. The voices in my head are still there, but they do not cause as much pain as they did when their spirit was on me. I start to slowly open my eyes. I don't know if it- I don't know who's saying that now. <laughs> Need you to relax, okay? He doesn't look like we- what we saw before. Maybe he's here to help us. Wait! Is that Mark? Is that Marga and Sayuri? The voices! Are they in my head? I slowly start to look around. My vision is very wavy and I can see two figures close at me. Close to me. Well, I guess this is how I died then. Getting eaten or sacrificed in some sort of ritual for the spirit? This is the reason I became a police officer. I start to regain my clear sight and can see two figures talking away from me. It's... They do not look like Natsuki and Yuri. I... 
from from my from what I saw before. He's waking up. I managed to get myself off the floor, but I kneeled down due to the pain I've endured. Ah! I grabbed my ribs. What are you waiting for? Finish the job, then. Zuko slowly walked up to me. It is. It's Sayuri and Monica. Wait. Keep your voice down. We just found you here. We need to aid you. I promise. Wait. Your names. Why are they? The girls hesitate for a second. I am Monica. And I am Sayuri. I slowly start to smile. Finally, I found you all. I am Corporal Sadie X. I work for the police force. I came here after you were reported missing by your school. But I will ask questions later. I slowly get back up on my feet. But now I need I need but now I need to get you all out of here. Did you find Natsuki Yuri before you found me? No, we haven't we haven't seen them. Are they still alive? Last time I saw that they were running away while I was dealing with that with the spirit. But where did they could have Closet! Classroom closet! We must head there immediately! Right there! I told Natsuki that if we get split up, that I would find that I would find them there. But we mu we must move fast before the spirit gets to them first. Don't worry, I unlocked the main main front door before searching for you all. Once we find them, you all stick together and leave the main door. I will be watching your back all the way. Thank you, Sonyx. Thank you, Sonyx. Don't worry. Now let's make our way to, to that classroom quickly and get out of here. I will admit, this is starting to get annoying. I have no idea where this spirit has gone. Two more girls to hunt down again. I am slowly starting to take control over control over this over the situation. Hopefully it's hopefully it stays that way until we get out of here. We continue to slowly make our make our way to the classroom. I look back to see both girls petrified due to what they have witnessed. And endured that endured for the time being. You two you two still good? I don't want you to go in, I don't want you going mad on me. I am fine for now. I'm a little nervous, I will admit. Have no fear. Being nervous keeps you on your toes. As long as you control it, everything will be fine. <sighs> man. Hope you're right, man. It's weird that there's no music. Maybe this is added to suspense or something. We continue to move down the hallway towards the class. I get a chill. Get, I get a chill down my spine. It's the same chill when. Where are you, girls? I just want to play with you. Can we just be friends? Crap! She is close. Both girls look at me in distress. Crap! Now it's time to get the now it's time to get the out of plain sight of the spirit. I immediately opened the door to my left. Everyone in now Sayori and Monica rushed to into the room and I followed closing the door quietly. Fred? Hello What? That's interesting. This is the first time I put music since the main menu. This is so suspenseful. It would appear it would appear we stumbled at what looks like the head teacher's office. This place looks so well furnished. And they call this place deserted. I think the spirit knows we are in we are here. Quickly look around for a place to hide. We don't look around for any good hiding spots. Still nothing. Come in. My eyes are wide.
wide open when it starts to speak. Crap! You two get under the desk! Both girls are able to fit under the desk due to their slim sizes. I lean back against the desk, looking at the window, trying to pinpoint the spirit from the glass. To no luck, the door busts open. I am coming in! Rude! Demon lock before entering! It starts to scan the area for some sign of life. She starts to walk around. this time I can feel myself with competition Bang Wow that was that Both of those look at me with such unease the voices in my head are starting to fade away No way We did we did just escape that I lean my head towards the desk as I thought, it left. It's gone. Let's get moving before that thing finds out that I'm still alive and moving. The girls crawl out from the desk, crack their backs, and, and get moving to the classroom, but this time with urgency. We immediately head towards the classroom. I hope they are in. The spirit has headed the other way. Again, to see if I'm still waiting for it. Come on, we're almost there. We reach the classroom before we know it and immediately enter it. Natsuki! Yuri! Are you here? Not a word. We haven't got time for this! I head, I head straight to the, over to the closet. I open the doors. Well, well, well. They look straight at me. Told you I would come back. Natsuki and Yuri rush over to the friends behind me. OMG! You okay? Natsuki continues to hug Sayuri as she does the same. Natsuki! Good to see you! Good to see you and safe! Monica! Yuri begins to cry on Margaret's shoulder. It's okay, Yuri. We are going to get out of here. I give them a second to collect themselves whereas I think of a plan on how we will, we will get out of here. Hate to interrupt the family union, but I have a plan. The spirit last the spirit last time we saw it down the hall to our left, which is close to, to the stairs. Me and we were me, we will go down the hall to the right and head straight for the main front door. Got it? Yes! 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 Now we need a distraction! Screaming! No more games! You will all suffer for this! You will not leave this place alive! I look at the others. They are all petrified what they just heard. Scrap the plan. Follow my orders and we'll make it out, out of here. Everyone, get ready to run. That spirit just found out that its, it's, it's favorite toy has gone missing. Me! We all immediately leave the classroom. There you are! Look to my left and find the spear is charging straight for us. Everybody, run down the hallway! Now! We all immediately start running at full pace. This is it. The moment we all knew what happened. Getting found by the spirit. Do not look back. Just keep moving. We are all sprinting to all the force with all the force we can muster at this point. The voices are getting heavy in my head. Sayori drops to the ground. She looks completely drained. I have a split second to make a choice. Crap, what do I do? Help her! I make a split decision and help Sayori get back on her feet. Now is not the time to go to sleep! I 
to grab Sayori and get her up to speed with the rest. Look at me, Sayori! You will make it out of here, but I need you to keep on running! Just a little bit to go, okay? Yeah, I can do it! Good to hear, lass. Manga grabs Sayori and starts to support her wrist while we continue down the hall. You can't save them all, officer! Leave them for me! I can help you and the girls! Just give up already! See you right before I look back. She is not there. We all start to approach the corner to find the spirit strolling across like some evil villain who just got the upper hand. Everyone, stop! Run the other way! Where do you think you're all going? Everyone immediately slows down and turns back around. Come on, keep going just a little bit. Just a little bit to go. We all start to keep. We all start to keep on running, but I can't. I can see something. The spear continues to chase us, but Yuri is starting to limp a bit. That is not good. Yuri! She really drops to the ground in pain. Ah! Oh crap! Not again! Another split-second decision. Help, Yuri! I make my decision. Come on, Yuri! Your time has not come. Ah! Yuri's clearly injured, but a sprained ankle will not kill her. The spear will catch up if you slow down anymore. I grab Yuri off the ground and start sprinting to keep up with the breast. Natsuki grabs Yuri and takes majority of her weight. She's actually a strong individual. Either she is strong or the adrenaline of the situation is blocking out her pain. That is what I need in all of them right now. The willingness to help those around them, even if the situation is grave. Oh, come on, officer. Can you at least give wonder to me? You're hoarding all the girls. Just because I'm not as, as, as popular as you. I swear, if I would turn my head towards her, she would have done a proud face at me. Just keep moving, everyone. We won't make it out of here. We will see you soon. Fear seems to fade away at this point. Reasons are unknown. Most likely to surprise us around the next corner. We continue running until we reach the stairs. Everyone, head down this, to the bottom floor! Go, go, go! Everyone bolts in down the stairs and heads straight towards the main front door. Manga checks both ways before sprinting across the hallway towards the door with Sayori over her shoulder. Okay, it looks clear! It's Bobby! It's Bobby! The Bobby still is upstairs! Let's get out of here! I'll be right behind you! Go where- Go where it's safe! Okay! Go! We all charge towards the front door. Sayori's still drained. Manga's starting to get tired. Yuri and Natsuki look like they've been knocking on death's door. We, we run past the lockers and head straight to the main doors. Okay, I locked it when I locked them when I entered. Open it up and we'll be out of here. I turn back to see if the spear is still following us. I can hear the daunting sound of its footsteps slowly making their way down the stairs. Spear knows we are here. Get the door open and get out. I will be right behind you all. Manga tries to open the door. The door is locked. Sonic X, the door is locked. What? Now it's coming! What now? Aw oh, crap, now is not the time for this! The spear is headed down the stairs as we speak! Just think! What should I do now? Lockpick the door! Everyone try to keep quiet, I need to concentrate and lock the door! I begin to work at the door. You inside you start to shack in fear. You most likely can see the spear heading down the stairs. I continue to lock pick the door discreetly, the spirit disregarding the spirit behind me. Sonic Jackson sees us! Please hurry up! I... It's coming! Oh god. Click. It's unlocked! Run! No! Running, we all start to slow down. We all made it out. 
<laughs> I immediately gave all the girls a hug to which they are all burst into tears. We really did make it out alive! Thank you so much, Sanyax! Thank you, Sanyax! Thank you, thank you for saving us! We all, we all do need a group hug before I collect myself and continue my job. Okay, girls, you're all safe now. So we will head to the station and get you all home safe and sound, okay? We understand. Come on, let's get moving. We all head towards the station. My radio is still messed up, so I guess the captain will have to wait an extra 10 minutes to heal back from me. So is that all that happened? Yes, sir. Yeah, we all are fine. Is this true, Sanyaks? Yes, sir. In that case, I will get you all treat me for what you went through back there, and we will immediately, re we'll immediately deal with the issue. Officer Sanyaks, brilliant job back there. You did what you needed to do and save everyone you could. You should be proud of what you have done this day. Come on, let's get you all up and running again. I. Huh? Hey, that's... Wait a minute. That's the creator of the bond! Here with two deaths. Hmm. Impressive. Every under stressful situation... Even under stressful situations and life-changing events, you were still able to save everyone and get, and get out of there alive. Not many people could pull up what you did back there. Very surprising indeed. The situation could have gone completely sideways. But who knows? <laughs> Greetings. I am the creator of the mod, Spirits. And I thank you for playing the mod. Every day, and most importantly, I, I hope you enjoy it. I can be with you. From this point of the mod, it is solely crediting anyone who I need to. In I'd like to thank and credit... Dark corridor background, Alex. Full name and description. Being closed down into a dark dark club room background, Alex. Just move your full name and description. Right the way into his heart. Dark classroom background, Alex. Full name and description. Choices. What will it take just to find that special day? Use the what will it take just to find dear ghost for the dark sciery bedroom day. background. All the other, all the backgrounds, cups and sprites, etc., are either copyright free, original game files, under, used under fair use, non-profit, and or credit edited by myself. Massive thank you to Team Savato for making such a great game. It's here to devs. Wow, that was something to say the least. That was an interesting one. It was a I think it was like a horror theme or something. I don't know. But that was a fun one, nonetheless. Good job. Sonic 17 is signing out. Catch you guys next time.